Hi, I'm Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to manage the guest option in VP Rentals team. The team has three options regarding guest functionality. You will have the option to use guest separation, adults, children and infants. The second option is to have guest number as plain numbers without a separation. And the third option is to not use guests at all. Each option for guest will be described in different videos. In this video I will show how to manage guests if the guest separation is enabled. You will see how admin sets the options for guests, how the owner will manage the options and how the actual guest will proceed with bookings in VP Rentals team. The first step is for admin to enable the option from team options, general, booking settings, this is the option, enable advanced guest control, you will need to set it to yes and save the change. This option means that now you will be able to select the number of adults, children or infants in search form, booking form and submission form. For the owner to have the specific details in submission form, the admin will need to go to team options, payments and submit listing submit page and select from the fields for listing submission these two fields do not consider children as guests and maximum extra guests above capacity i will select them save changes and now in submission form the owner will have guest number he will be able to select if children will be charged and also will have the option to allow a guest above capacity and add a maximum extra guest above capacity number. These are the settings that admin needs to do in backend. Now I will show how the owner will manage these options. I will show the steps that the owner will take by editing an existing listing. These are the new guest options that owner can set according to his business. I will describe each combination of settings. The first scenario is when the owner will also include children as guests. In this case, the guest drop down number will be selected and the children option will not be ticked. For this scenario, when a booking is done, the guest will select the number of days and for guests he will be able to select nine guests in total adults and children also if infants are selected they will not be included as guests going back to owner interface the next scenario is when children will not be charged as guests and then this option needs to be ticked. In this case, when the guest will place a booking, he will be able to select a maximum of 9 guests and as many children as he wishes. And for the last scenario, when the owner will allow extra guests he will need to tick allow guests above capacity he can include children as well as guests and also here set the number of guests allowed above the default guest number i will add two i will save the changes made and in price section i will add the price for the extra guests As guests, you will see that the owner allows more guests than the capacity and the maximum extra guest allowed. When the booking is placed, the guest will be able to select the 9 default number of guests and the 2 extra guests allowed. I will place this booking. I will log in as guest.
I will press book now. The booking request was sent to owner. From owner dashboard, I will go to my bookings. And here I will see the new booking made. You can see here the number of guests. The next step is to issue invoice. In the invoice you will see all the details of the booking made. You will see also the cost for the extra guests allowed. I will press send invoice. And going back to guest user dashboard, I will go to my reservation. And here I will find the invoice that I need to pay. I will make the payment with wire transfer. Once admin has confirmed the payment, in owner my booking section, the booking will be confirmed. The owner will be able to see the details and print the invoice. And also the guest will have confirmed status and will be able to see the trip details. He will see the featured image, the details of the booking, the details of the owner and house rules. He will also be able to print these details. Next, I will show how admin can highlight in listing page and listing card the maximum guest number. I will go to team options, design, listing page settings. For the listing page, you have the option to add custom fields in overview section. I will select the maximum extra guest above capacity. You have the option to add a label or an image or an icon. I will just add an icon. I will save the change. Now the settings for listing car design, you can set custom fields if type 3 is selected and from here I will select maximum extra guest above capacity and add a label. I will save the changes and now I will go on front end and show how these changes will look like. First I will show how the listing card will reflect the change made. This is a listing that has extra guests and also the listing page will show the extra guests here. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notification on new videos.